Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on digital image processing. I am Dr. Dafra and in this 49th video class of DIP, we will study point, line and edge detection in digital image processing. Starting with the name, what is the meaning of point? Point is an isolated intensity change in a constant background. What is line? Line is a collection of isolated points. And what is edge? Edge is the boundary between two regions with relatively distinct gray level properties. So let us start. Image segmentation techniques can be classified as shown here. Fundamentally, there are two types of techniques, discontinuity based and similarity based. Discontinuity based is nothing but edge based segmentation as we learned in the previous video class. And similarity based segmentation is region based segmentation. For discontinuity based or edge based segmentation, the strategy is to partition an image based on the abrupt changes in the intensity. So in this video class, we will learn edge based segmentation techniques such as point detection, line detection and edge detection. These detections can be done using gradient based operators or Gaussian based operators. The gradient based operators are the first order derivatives while the Gaussian based operators are the second order derivatives. And we have already learned such derivatives in high pass filtering. Why? Because high pass filters are used for detecting edges or boundaries. Or you will remember that derivatives are used for high pass filtering. So for understanding these high pass filters, you please refer to our previous video lecture number 17 that is image sharpening in digital image processing video lecture number 20 namely image sharpening in frequency domain filtering and video lecture number 21 which was laplacian unsharp masking or high boost in frequency domain filtering and the similarity based image segmentation will be learning in the coming video classes for the detection of discontinuities we have to detect the three basic types of gray level discontinuities points lines and edges and from the mentioned previous video classes, we have the knowledge that we use the image sharpening techniques. The first order derivative will produce thicker edges. The second order derivative or Laplacian operator have a strong response to fine details such as thin lines and isolated points and noise. So this can be done by running a mark to the image as we know from our previous video class. First is point detection. So these are the steps for point detection. Apply the Laplacian filter or mask to the image to obtain R of XY. So this is our Laplacian mask. After obtaining R of XY, create a binary image by threshold. So our output G of XY will be equal to 1 if R of XY is greater than or equal to the threshold or 0 otherwise. So here T is a non-negative threshold. So we already know how to apply this filter mask to the image from our previous video classes. Let us implement this point detection in MATLAB. This is the MATLAB code for point detection. We are reading the image and this is our Laplacian filter mask. Minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, 8, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. So the center isolated point will be highlighted and all the other regions will be made less in intensity. So you can apply it using IM filter and this threshold we are choosing is the maximum value of G which we are obtaining. So now our G will be equal to or greater than threshold only and all the other values will be made black or zero. And we will be subplotting the original image and the result of point detection. Let us run and see the output. So this is our original image and in this original image there are two isolated points which we can see here which are detected using point detection and Laplacian mask. So let us zoom and we can see that these are isolated points and hence are detected while the others are not detected. In the similar manner we can do the line detection. A special mask is needed to detect a special type of line. For example, horizontal mask has high response when a line is passed through the middle row of the mask. So for detecting horizontal line such horizontal mask is required. If the line is plus 45 degree such diagonal plus 45 degree mask is required. If the line is vertical such a vertical mask or vertical centered mask is required and if it is minus 45 degree such minus 45 degree centered mask is required next is edge detection edge detection is the approach for segmenting images based on abrupt changes in intensity it is used to detect the boundaries or to find size or location of an object in an image so what is an edge an edge is a set of connected pixels that lie on the boundary between two regions and an edge is a local concept whereas the region based segmentation owing on the way it is defined is a more global idea. So this edge detection can be done using the gradient operator 
or the Gaussian operator. The gradient based operator is the first order derivative and the Gaussian based operator is the second order derivative. The types of gradient based operators are Sobel operator, Robert operator, Previtz operator, etc. Whereas the types of Gaussian based operators are Kenny edge detection and Laplacian of Gaussian which is also called zero crossing detector. Let us understand different edge models. Edge models are classified according to their intensity profile. So this figure shows different edge models and their intensity profiles. A step edge involves a transition between two intensity levels occurring ideally over a distance of one pixel. So this figure shows a vertical step edge and the intensity profile. So this step edges occurs for example in images generated by a computer for use in areas such as solid modeling and animation. But normally digital images have edges that are blurred and noisy with a degree of blurring determined principally by limitations in the focusing mechanisms for example lenses in the case of optical images and the noise level determined principally by the electronic components of the imaging system. So in such situations the edges are more closely modeled as having intensity ramp profile as shown here. The third model of an edge is the so called roof edge model like this. This roof edges are models of line through a region with the base or width of a roof edge being determined by the thickness and sharpness of the line. This roof edges arise for example in the range imaging when thin objects such as pipes are closer to the sensor than their equidistance background such as walls. So the pipes will appear brighter and thus create an image as shown here. But remember an image may have all three types of edges such as step edge, ramp edge as well as roof edge as shown in this medical image. Let us understand the first and second order derivatives response at the edge. This is an image which has two regions of constant intensity separated by a vertical ramp edge. This is the intensity profile and the first order derivative and the second order derivative response. So the magnitude of the first derivative can be used to detect the presence of an edge at the point. The sign of the second derivative indicates which side of the edge the pixel is on and the zero crossing of the second derivative can be used to locate the center of thick edges. So second derivative produces two values for every edge in the image. An imaginary straight line joining the extreme positive and negative values of the second derivative would cross zero near the midpoint of the edge. Zero crossing point is the center of the thick edges. And therefore, the Laplacian which is the second order derivative is also known as zero crossing detector. But the image for edge detection may also contain some noise. So in this figure, the first column shows four ramp edges. This is free of noise while the other three are corrupted by additive Gaussian noise with zero mean and standard deviation of 0 0.1, 1.0 and 10 intensity. The second column shows the first derivative while the third column shows the second derivative of these ramp edges. So the interesting point to note here is that the noise is almost invisible in these images. But when we take the derivatives, the visibility of noise increases. So as expected, the second derivative is more sensitive to noise as compared to the first derivative. So these second derivative profiles shows that it would be difficult to detect the positive and the negative components which are very useful for edge detection. So this figure also also shows that before applying sharpening or edge detection, image smoothing should be the first priority to remove the noise. So this will be the steps for edge detection. Number one, image smoothing for noise reduction. First of all, the noise should be reduced. Number two, detection of edge points. This extracts from an image all points that are potential candidates to become edge points. And third one is edge localization and this selects from candidate edge points only the points that are true members of the set of points comprising an edge. The image gradient is a first order derivative that is given by gradient of f is equal to gx gy which is equal to del f by del x and del f by del y. The magnitude of the gradient is given by this equation and the direction of the gradient vector is given by this equation. So these are different first order derivatives operators and masks. These all masks are derived from these equations. For example gx is equal to f of x plus 1 y minus f of x y. So this is f of x y it is minus 1 you can see here it is minus 1 and this is x plus 1 y which is plus 1. So this is x plus 1 and y is same. Okay, so it is plus 1. So this is plus 1. Similarly, this mass is derived from this equation and the Robert cross gradient operators are having these equations and these masks. The equations for private operators are these and the Sobel operators are these. For example, for private operator, 
Z7, Z8 and Z9 are plus. So this is Z7, Z8 and Z9 that is plus 1 and Z1, Z2, Z3 is minus 1. So Z1, Z2, Z3 is minus 1 and other values are zeros. Similarly, G of Y are these values and for Sobel operators also such masks are obtained from the equations. The point to remember over here is that the summation of values within a mask always equals to 0. For example, you can see here if you add minus 1, 1, minus 2, 2 and minus 1, 1 and zeros you will get 0. And this figure shows the private and Sobel mask for diagonal edges. So these are slightly modified masks for detecting the diagonal edges and remember this private and Sobel operators are the most commonly used gradient mask and the Sobel has better noise characteristics than the private operator. This figure shows the example of use of the gradient. We are using a Sobel operator over here. So this is the original image and using GX for Sobel operator will result in such image. So what is this GX? You can see here that GX is detecting horizontal lines. So here we can see that out of this image these horizontal lines are Conversely, GY will detect the vertical lines as we can see here. An addition of GX plus GY will result in such good edge detection comprising of both horizontal as well as vertical lines. Let us now understand the second order derivative for edge detection. So this figure shows the Laplacian of Gaussian. This method is also known as mar hildreth operator. It is a Gaussian based method where Gaussian operator reduces the noise and the Laplacian operator detects sharp edges. So it is a combination of Laplacian and Gaussian. So Laplacian is used for sharp edges detection and Gaussian is used to reduce noise. When the image is noisy, using the second derivative alone will result in difficulty in the edge detection. So that noise should be reduced first that is done by the Gaussian and the Laplacian detects the sharp edges. So this LOG is used when there are sudden gray level transitions and edge is detected when the second order derivative crosses zero. And therefore, this is also known as zero crossing detector. So this LOG is sometimes also called Mexican hat operator due to its shape like a Mexican hat. It is never used directly because of its strong noise sensitivity and combining the Laplacian with a Gaussian gives the Laplacian of Gaussian. So this is the mask for Laplacian of Gaussian which also is derived from the equation of Laplacian of Gaussian. The edge supports six different edge finding methods which are shown in this slide and finally let us draw some conclusions for edge detection. The gradient based classical operators that is first derivatives are simple in implementation and thus fast computations. So robot operator is the simplest one but it is most sensitive to noise. The response of Sobel and private operators are almost similar but still Sobel produces better out due to more resistance against noise than the private operator. And for noisy images Laplacian of Gaussian and Kenny operators that is second order derivatives must be used. Let us implement edge detection in MATLAB. This program shows MATLAB code for edge detection using Sobel operator. Let us run and see the output. So this is our original image. This is the result with automatic threshold chosen and this is the result with specified threshold. So you can see automatic threshold gives good output. This is the result of using vertical and horizontal Sobel with specified threshold. This is using 45 degree edge detection. So you can see that uh, the 45 degree orientation is detected and this gives minus 45 degree edge detection. So that is all for this video class. Thank you very much.